I had uh, 150 customers after two years. Now we have 160,000 customers. Right? I was completely wrong. But but here's here's actually an interesting story. What I uh, when when I started, it was just me. I wanted to build a one-person software company because I didn't speak about this at all. But uh, this is a good opportunity because it's so important for me. The reason I started going into uh, started my own business was because I wasn't learning enough anymore at work. I was just a programmer. It was obvious that the career inside Adobe for programmers were either stay a programmer or become a programming manager, and that's it. I wanted to know all the other things that were required to sell, market, you know, the legal, the support, the design. I wanted to know what are all the steps to make a software uh, product, right? And I wasn't going to be able to learn that uh, in a large corporation, so that's why I started by myself. And that's why I decided to do it by myself, because I wanted to be exposed to every single thing. I didn't want to have anybody that I could delegate the things that I didn't like. I wanted to learn how to do it. I remember, for instance, uh, the day when I had to write the license agreement. You know the thing you say, I agree, all the time? <laughs> Who's ever read one, right? I never even read one, but now I can write one. <laughs> right? oh, yeah. So I did this practice type thing, copy and paste it from different ones. Uh, but that was, that was the, that's the best part, right? That, that's the challenge. So, um, so, because I wanted to have a small business, I thought I only want a few big customers so that I can do customer support for just a few, a few customers. I can handle that by myself. Um, and then uh, they, they're big customers and so they paid me a lot of money. So the idea was to build uh, a wireframe tool like this, but to only sell it to enterprises only bundled with a wiki as a plugin to a wiki that sort of sold customized uh, not really but bundled with an enterprise software let's say so that I could get their marketing uh, help you know of this big enterprise software uh, called the Atlassian Conference so that was the, that was the idea and that's what I launched then during the beta people said oh this is great but I don't want that enterprise part I just want your thing and I said no 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 I can't support, I can't give you that because this is my business plan. See? <laughs> and the people, more and more people said, yeah, that's great, but I really want it by myself. I really want it on the desktop. And they said, no, it's 2008. All software is going to the web. Nobody wants that software, so desktop software anymore. They said, actually, I do. I want my data. I don't trust a web software. And so it took three weeks of convincing to say, for me to change my mind and say, okay, I will make a desktop version that is cheap. And, and uh, I said, but I can't support you, because if I make a desktop version, it has to be free, it has to be cheap, and so, um, and so lots of people will come, and I, I'm just going to be by myself, so I can't support you. And they said, oh, don't worry, don't do support, do set, not support it. I'll take it anyway. But, okay, I don't know how much to charge. And one guy said, well, this other guy that I didn't even know about, that, you know, my, my, uh, my uh, marketing analysis consisted in Googling for like five minutes. I found three things. There were another 20. Uh, I mean, I got lucky. I got really lucky. Um, he said, oh, this other guy is $79 a person. Yours is better. I said, okay, 79 it is. So that's, that's how you do price it. <laughs> you ask your customers to tell you. Um, <coughs> And so, and so I had to change, I had to completely throw away my business plan and just jump in. But it took a lot of convincing because that wasn't my plan at all. There's this other quote, and I should really learn who says it, but it is that um, <coughs> no business plan ever survives the first impact with customers. Right? It doesn't matter how great it is, customers are going to take you in a different direction. Um, and you have to listen, otherwise somebody else will. 